welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says integrate the following rational function x upon x square plus 1 into x minus 1. Now we know that it is always possible to write the integrand as a sum of simpler rational functions by a method called partial fraction decomposition. So we will integrate this question by partial fractions. Now we know that if the form of the rational function is px square plus qx plus r upon x minus a into x square plus bx plus c where x square plus bx plus c cannot be factorized further Then, form of the partial fraction is A over X minus A plus BX plus C upon x square plus bx plus c where a, b and c are real numbers Determine suitably. So, this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So, let's start the solution. to integrate the rational function x upon x square plus 1 into x minus 1. The given integrand is a proper rational function. Therefore, according to our key idea or by using the form of partial fraction we have upon x square plus 1 into x minus 1 is equal to ax plus b upon x square plus 1 plus c upon x minus 1 where A, B and C are real numbers to be determined suitably. 
So this gives x is equal to ax plus b into x minus 1 plus c into x square plus 1. So this implies x is equal to ax square minus ax plus bx minus b plus cx square plus c on equating the coefficients of x square x and the constant term we have a plus c is equal to 0. Let us give this equation as number 1 and Minus A plus B is equal to 1. Let us give this equation as number 2. And minus B plus C is equal to 0. Let us give this equation as number 3. Now we will solve these equations. So from equation 3 we have B is equal to C. Now on substituting B is equal to C in equation 2 We have minus a plus c is equal to 1. Let us give this equation as number 4. Now from 1 we have a plus c is equal to 0. Now on adding we get two C is equal to one. So this implies C is equal to 1 by 2. From 1 we have A plus C is equal to 0. Now substituting the value of C we get a plus 1 by 2 is equal to 0. So this implies A is equal to minus 1 by 2. So we have A is equal to minus 1 by 2. B is equal 
into C is equal to 1 by 2. Thus, the integrand is given by x upon x square plus 1 into x minus 1 is equal to ax plus b. Now a is minus 1 by 2. So this is minus 1 by 2x plus b which is 1 by 2 upon x square plus 1 plus c upon x minus 1. Therefore, integral of x upon x square plus 1 into x minus 1 dx is equal to 1 by 2 into integral of minus x plus 1 upon x square plus 1 dx plus 1 by 2 into integral of 1 over x minus 1 dx. Now this integral can be written as this is equal to minus 1 by 2 into integral of x upon x squared plus 1 into dx plus 1 by 2 into 1 over x squared plus 1 into dx plus 1 by 2 into 1 over x minus 1 into dx. Now, minus 1 by 2 into integral of x upon x square plus 1 dx can be written as minus 1 by 2 into 2 into integral of 2x upon x square plus 1 dx. Now here put x square plus 1 is equal to t, then 2x dx is equal to dt. Therefore, minus 1 by 2 into integral of x upon x square plus 1 dx is equal to minus 1 by 4 integral of dt upon t and this is equal to minus 1 by 4 log t and this is again equal to minus 1 by 4 log of x square plus 1. So Minus 1 by 2 into integral of x upon x square plus 1 dx is equal to minus 1 by 4 log of x square plus 1. Now we know that the process of differentiation and integration are inverses of each other. So 1 by 2 into integral of 1 upon x square plus 1 dx is equal to 1 by 2 tan inverse x because derivative of tan inverse x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x square. Therefore, integral of 
x upon x square plus 1 into x minus 1 dx is equal to minus 1 by 2 into integral of x upon x square plus 1 dx and this is equal to minus 1 by 4 log of x square plus 1 so we have integral of x upon x square plus 1 into x minus 1 dx is equal to minus 1 by 4 log of x square plus 1 plus 1 by 2 into integral of 1 over x square plus 1 dx and which is 1 by 2 tan inverse x plus 1 by 2 tan inverse x plus 1 by 2 into integral of 1 over x minus 1 dx which is equal to 1 by 2 into log of x minus 1 plus c. Hence the answer for the above question is 1 by 2 log of x minus 1 minus 1 by 4 log of x square plus 1 plus 1 by 2 tan inverse x plus c. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and take care.